Hey everyone, Alicia Williams with the Elise Day Marketing Collective. Um, and I am here because I just got an influx of new questions and I just added to my basket um, to put myself on the hot seat as if life isn't uncomfortable enough. Let's put myself on the hot seat. So here we go. What is the best advice I've ever received? Best advice I've ever received that I actually listened to or best advice I received and then just ignored? Totally two different things. So um, before I even answer this, I would love to know what the best advice you've received is. Um, so drop it in the comments. The best advice I have received, there's so many, but one that always sticks true with me uh, came from my parents and it was to um, not compare yourself to other people, which is kind of like a trend now. Everyone's saying don't compare yourself to other people. But it was everyone puts their pants on the same way. And regardless of what your company title is, uh, what your position title is, you probably um, stumbled putting on your socks just like everybody else. So I hold that true even today when I meet with new prospects um, or other business owners, I don't really dive into um, their role within the company um, because I get in my own head of what their position is. If they're the business owner or the CEO, I kind of um, I have that mind game in my head <laughs> of like who they are and what they do. Um, so that is my best advice that I've always hung true to. Um, even when I meet with people today, I know who they are, but when I talk with them, it's just like if I was having coffee, just getting to know you. Um, and I'm not blinded by like, this is the CEO. Oh my gosh, he must be like really successful. <laughs> it's more of like, this is Joe. And what does Joe like to do? Um, does he coach soccer on the weekends? Um, what drives him? So I try to focus on the person rather than the title. And that uh, advice is how my mind thinks. So drop in the comments, what is the best advice you've ever received?